Okay, uh, my dear student, I am a LSO science teacher, B.R. Sindhil. Uh, today I am coming uh, in front of you by bringing this some questions which are very very important for this examination point of view. Okay, my dear student, there is one question uh, I found that in the strange state or you can say it is given in the study days practice also. The question like this that Kenya of this uh, African countries, okay, Kenya that lies in this Africa has developed in this tourism sectors and uh, savanna grassland. Uh, yes, in Argentina, they were yes, highly developed. Okay, Argentina lies in the South America, the country, and has developed this animal husbandry. Then what yes, lesson can Nepal learn from this country? What Nepal must have, must learn from all these countries? Okay, my dear student, questions once again. Kenya, the African country, has developed in the tourism in Savannah grassland. And Argentina, the South America country, have developed the yes, animal husbandry. Then what lesson can Nepal yes, learn from these countries? Mentioned in four points like this, uh, my dear student, the question has been asked already in this examination, in previous examinations, and it is very, very important questions to you. So that I would like to clarify about this, uh, concept about this, this question, okay? Kenya, the Afri African country uh, has developed uh, in the tourism sectors in Savanna grassland and uh, Argentina, the South America, where lies this vast extent extensive grassland that is known as the Pampa, so that Argentina is uh, developed in the sectors of this animal husbandry. Then what lesson, okay, can Nepal learn from these nations, okay? Uh, mentioned in four points, like this, the question is asked in this examination, my dear student, okay? The, what lesson Nepal is yes, learned from these nations? Okay. Yes. Now listen to me here. Now the answer. Okay, my dear student. Okay. The listen me nicely because here is no any yes, whiteboard. I am just reciting in front of you so that listening is important, my dear student. And I hope that you will you are yes, listening to me. Okay. To clarify this concept, uh, what kinds of the lesson that Nepal must have to yes, learn from these nations? Now first. Everybody know that Nepal is rich in this water resources from which Nepal can yes, generate this hydroelectricity and can sell to this nearby this Asian countries, okay, to earn the money and that money can be used and utilized in this development work in this activities, okay. And, and for this development of the other infrastructure of development, there is a great possibility to generate this hydroelectricity because everybody knows that Nepal is the second richest country in the yes, water resources so that Nepal can use and utilize this uh, sectors of its water resources to generate this hydroelectricity and can sell to this nearby these Asian nations or neighboring nations and can earn the lots of money or you can say white money and that money can be used and utilized in other development work and activities. So steps of the lesson that Nepal must have to learn from this country like the Kenya as well as this Argentina. Okay, my dear student, of course, yes. And second one is that the yes, quality of the soil, especially in this Tarai belt, okay, uh, is very good and appropriate and suitable for the agriculture because because this um, due to the presentation of this humus okay humus in this um, soil that is the quality of the soil fertile land so that there is great possibility about this uh, development of the agriculture uh, by this method of this mechanization okay by adopting this uh, process of this agriculture mechanization the production can be as uh, grow in huge amount so that uh, the required foods can be as produced inside our nations and dependency can be as eradicated so steps of this uh, factors or you can say as uh, possibilities are as found in this nepal so that nepal must have to mechanize uh, this um, agriculture sectors uh, especially in this that i believe yes, there is great possibility such types of the relation that nepal can yes learn from this country like this kenya as well as what the argentina my dear student like this my dear student you have to create this answer for its examination but you must have to give this answer with the facts okay and yes uh, uh, yes sir uh, you can yes answer this your answer in examination by giving this uh, fact to your solutions okay and i hope that you will do that in your examination and similarly yes nepal is the country that lies on the lap of this himalayas lap of the himalayas means that himal ko cha nepal so that nepal is the country that lies on the lap of this himalayas the snow clad mountain okay the snow clad mountain shines gloriously and captivate their so lookers heart so that there is great possibility about this development of this tourism industry too yes or no of course yes, there is no doubt therefore this provision of new and new trekking areas should be well managed 
uh, by the Wisconsin Authority or you can say tourism of the uh, or the tourism ministry uh, with the uh, five star hotels okay motels restaurant bar and by providing the full of the security and good accommodation facilities okay continental foods okay and hospitality is yes, um, behaviors with this to the steps of the culture can yes nepal is develop for the development of this nepal too and nepal is rich in this forest resources there is no doubt is yes, not the poaching for the yes, poaching means tusker poaching for the talks okay horns or can say skin okay uh, should be immediately yes, stopped by deploying their security as yes, force yes or no so that we can attract thousands of the tourists uh, in this um, various yes, national park that lies in this Nepal. Our country has been blessed by this beautiful yes, uh, customs, traditions, culture, values, norms, handicrafts. And Kathmandu itself is known as the city of this temple. Uh, the, yes, thus these wealth should be yes, advertised in different yes, media, national as well as in this international yes, media uh, to yes, Mm, to know this about this Nepal to this uh, rest of this world. Okay, so these are the yes, lessons that Nepal can learn from the country like this Kenya as well as this Argentina for yes, its uh, overall yes, development. And next question is that Cairo. Okay, Cairo is the yes, capital of this Egypt because Africa we have already learned about its physical features. Why Africa is known as dark continent? Why South Africa is known as this bright star of this Africa? We have already learned. And another questions I, a question I have found. For you, my all dear student, that Cairo is the capital of Egypt. Uh, it is highly developed and this advanced. Even there is very less rainfall. Why? Like this, my dear student, the question is asked in the examination. Okay, once again, my dear student, the question. Listen me carefully. That Cairo is the capital of Egypt. It is highly advanced and developed. Even though there is very less rainfall, then how it is possible for the development of its area? Even there is the very less rainfall. So now listen to me here. How, why and how it is just developed? Now first, it lies in the bank of the yes, Nile River. Cairo, uh, the yes, capital of this Egypt that lies on the bank of the yes, Nile River. Nile River, Nadi ko chai kinar maavasti chayo. Okay. So that which is good route to yes, import and export the goods through the yes, advanced boat. The quite accessible for the yes, uh, transportation of the boat as well as the yes, what? Ships. Uh, is very uh, suitable there to carry the goods from one place to another place uh, so that Cairo is highly developed even though there is very less than for this is the first region and second one is that the Nile yes, civilization which was developed here about yes, uh, yes 5000 years ago the Nile civilization was developed here 5000 years ago that is called this Nile civilizations that attracts these thousands of their students tourists there from all over the world and or and on this lots of foreign currency and uh, there is the availability or the facilities of this five star hotels motel restaurant bar and full of security there so that people or the tourists feel secure there so that uh, thousands of the tourists used to visit there in this um, Nile River or you can say Cairo so that Cairo on the lots of white money that is also the plus point that is Cairo is highly developed even though there is very less rainfall okay my dear student like this my dear student you must have to create the answer in your examination why Cairo is developed even though there is very less rainfall okay my dear student of course yes and next one is that commercial fish farming okay commercial yes fish farming is highly developed there uh, yes, uh, in, practiced on this bank of the Nile rivers Nile River and this fish farming is mechanized there Okay, so steps of the facilities has been yes uh, uh, created by the yes, uh, government of the yes, Cairo there, and similarly agriculture is also yes, mechanized there, uh, and good yes due to the yes, facilities of the modern irrigation yes, facilities uh, that is given to these people of the yes, Cairo, and availability of the reliable agricultural yes, tools, machines, insecticides, pesticides, okay, chemicals, and this yes, uh, heavy dose of the fertilizers are yes, being used there by the people or the farmers of the yes, Cairo so that Cairo is yes, highly developed because it lies on this bank of the Nile so that irrigation facilities and irrigation canals are also uh, is constructed there for these uh, farmers so that Cairo is highly developed even though there is very less rainfall and similarly people are yes, educated they are yes, skilled too and energetic due to this uh, western influence of this uh, due to this western influence 
uh, and follow this tourism industry most of the people used to follow this tourism industry the, it lies on the bank of the nile river okay which is very a yes, good route to yes, import and export the goods from one place to another place and nile civilization has been yes, developed yes, uh, over 5000 years ago uh, years ago so that thousands of the tourists used to come here and it lies on the bank of this nile so that there is a facility of this irrigation so the irrigation is yes, mechanized and uh, agriculture is also mechanized due to this availability of the irrigation facilities and uh, people are educated okay far sighted and energetic okay due to this uh, western influence uh, and follow this tourism industry so these are the reasons my dear student that cairo is the capital of egypt there is very less rainfall but also it is highly developed okay this much for today my dear student again tomorrow i will come with you for the uh, by yes, bringing this new concept and this new uh, questions or you can say unit order lessons thank you very much my dear student